This is a tutorial on how to set bookmarks in use them with set lists for multi-page PDFs for Fourscore. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. I'm in my Gmail app and I'm going to select this is a multi-page PDF as you can see and so this has got a lot of different songs and I want to just go ahead and only um, in my set list I'm just going to utilize just you know like the individual I want the individual songs in my set list. So I'm going to click in the middle and then I'm going to select this little share in the top right corner. It's like the box with the arrow. Then I'm going to scroll all the way over to four score, which I think I just passed it. Here we go. Copy to four score. And I already did this, so I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite. <laughs> um, but normally it wouldn't do that. Okay, so here I am in the piece of music. Here is the piece. Um, the first thing I want to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and rename it. I'm just going to click on the title, and I just want this to be really easy, so I'm just going to call it um, JCPC because that's the uh, location. So I'm just going to call it the set called JCPC and click Done. All right, so now as you can see, if you, if you scroll over, you can see that there's a lot of charts in this, and they're all different pieces. Some of them are for different instruments. So let's say I want to add this to my set list. Well, let's say I am the string bass player and I just want to be on the Arvark, or let's say I'm, you know, like I'm going to go up to alto saxophone. This is the third, like the fifth page of the whole PDF, and I want to add it to a set list so it just goes straight to this one, not to the beginning of the PDF. Because if you add this to the PDF, it'll go to the first page automatically, even if you change the name, even if you add it when it's in this page. So you have to bookmark it. So the way you work, if that works, excuse me, is to click on the bookmark icon, which is in the top left corner. And uh, you just click the plus, give it uh, a title. I think this one's called Ardverk. And I'm going to give it, you know, a really specific title. So this is the alto part. So I'm going to call it Ardvark Alto. And I promise you, I don't have another piece in my library that's called that. Then I'm going to click Save. And then if I select that, then it goes straight to that part on the PDF, but notice I can't go forward or back. I am clicking and you can't see, but I'm clicking over to the right and to the left and it can't go up. So now how to add this to a set list? Well, there's a few ways. First of all, um, I'm clicking in the middle and then I'm gonna click at the top. And if you go to this tab, there it's set to be on the layout tab, but if you click on the set list tab and you scroll down, you can add it to a set list that way. So I'll just add it to 10, 11, and then now it's gonna be on that set list. I go to my set lists and I go all the way up to 1011, Aardvark Alto is there. Now notice that it has like a, a circle that's slightly shaded in and a light blue color. So that's telling me that's the bookmark. Um, another way you can add it to the set list is if you click on the search in the top right corner and then you search for the song. So I'm going to search for Aardvark and you can see I have Aardvark Alto and then notice in parentheses it says JCPC. So that's telling me that's a bookmark to the long PDF called JCPC. So you can do it that way. That's how you can pull it up. Or if you're in the set list, let's go to a different set list, um, and you click the plus, and then you go over to the right and you search for it. I'm going to search for Aardvark. Notice that the bookmarked version, which is Aardvark Alto, with JCPC in parentheses is one of the ones that you can choose from. So you just select that and then you can move it up and down wherever you want in your set list. And then when you're done, if you go to that set list, okay, I'm gonna go straight through to that set list and now I'm on that particular song. And when I go to the next song, it's a totally different song than the one that was in the original PDF. So I hope that's helpful. That's how to bookmark PDFs so that you can have multi-page PDFs um, in uh, Fourscore and then add, you know, just the one particular page you need to a set list. All right, that's it.